Hey yo, aloha aina. It's Brother Josh here. How you guys doing? You are now watching episode of The Hunt for Hawaii's Hope. I got number 44 over here. Number 44 is coming from the mainland, uh, well, should I say the continental U.S. Um, a place called Tahoe, I'm guessing Lake Tahoe area. Uh, the name of this strain right here is called the Sherbert. Um, I'm going to post some photos of this on the Instagram. It's going to be on the number 44, Hunt for Hawaii's Hope. Um, and it's called the Sherbert. And when I was looking up the... Um, when I was trying to look up the stats on Leafly, I um, was having a hard time finding it because I was putting in the wrong um, spelling of uh, Sherbert. I kind of assumed that it had an R in it, like, you know, the way you, you pronounce it, it's... Sure, Bert, you know, like Bert and Ernie. Uh, but it actually is spelled Sherbet with no R in the, you know, in the end of it. Um, and I didn't realize that. So I kind of assumed that there was a different um, strain, but um, I was mistaken, and I was wrong about the the name. So the Sherbert is actually Sherbet, and uh, I guess it's like some French. Like a sorbet, sherbet, or I don't know. Anyway, I did smoke this a while back, and it was potent, and it was pretty much like a knockout uh, type of you know stone. Um, right here, I have a hybrid on Leafly. They don't have a. They got the Sunset Sherbert. Um, and it's not... Uh, it's not a straight Sherbert, but it's it's already mixed. Uh, so... I don't know if reading this... Um, review will do anything good. But... As far as the lineage goes, I'm guessing it has definitely has some cushion there. Um, over here at Leafly, it says it might have some Girl Scout cookies, um, and then and so. You know, the, I'm not sure where this is at as far as the strain and as far as the heritage of it. But I do know it is really, really tasty and super stone and super potent. So, I've been talking way too much already. I just want to light this up and get this review going. So, I like to say that I've been holding on to this for a while now. And so the bud in the pictures is really brown and really aged. That being said, the, um, the smell of this, the taste of this is still pretty good, pretty fruity. That's what I remembered was it, it was fruity. And it still is pretty fruity. <coughs> and 
time, it's good to know that even over time, <clears throat> the potency hasn't really gone away. It's pretty damn potent. Yeah, it got a nice taste to it. Great aromas. Super potent. You can just feel it grabbing your lungs uh, when you inhale. So I'm really looking forward to um, getting to the end of this joint and um, getting to that that good that good in the cup feeling. Um, today I feel kind of really anxious and on edge. I don't know why. I just there's just a lot to do and so so little time. Um, so I just. I just need to take the edge off it a little bit. <coughs> oh, man. <coughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this joint. Um, I'm already, <coughs> I'm already pretty stolen. Um, we're halfway in it, and I just <clears throat> wow. So I did, I did get this tested. At the uh, with my with my testers uh, over there at Canatest Hawaii, and this registered at twenty four percent THC. Not a significant amount of THCV. Um, quite a lot more than I've had of CBG. This has one point four percent. But, man, it, it is some really potent smoke. Um, that would be the sherbet. It's pronounced sherbet, or spelled sherb sherbet, but pronounced sherbet. I don't know. But if you see any of this in the dispensaries, go, go ahead and get it. Um, if you like the indica, if you're looking for that heavy uh, indica, relaxing, um, you know, stone buzz, then this is one good strain for you. Right now, I'm going to rate this as probably a better nighttime strain. You know, in my book, for me, um, a better nighttime stream. But like I said, I'm I'm feeling a little a little anxious today, and I need something to calm me down. So I went ahead and you know I thought this would be good um, to help that out. And you know I haven't smoked this whole joint, but I just feel super relaxed, super calm. I don't know if you could tell by the way I've been talking to this video, but I've definitely slowed down a bit.